everybody. It's me. It's Anne. I'm back. What can you do? You just can't get rid of me. Anyway, I decided that today I would do one of the tags that's trending, and that would be the perfect subscriber tag originated by Katie Marie. I'll have a list of the questions and information on her channel down below. I actually snagged it from Annette from Annette's Make Beauty Corner. Um, we'll just get going and see where we end up. First question. Do you subscribe right away when you find a new channel video or do you try a few videos first? I actually subscribe right away and I turn on the notification and I follow for a little while and if I like what I'm seeing and I'll go through and check some of the other videos out when I have time but if I like what I'm seeing I'll keep it on the subscription and keep it on um, the notifications if I'm not really that impressed or I'm not finding things that I really like I will keep the subscription but I turn off the notifications and if I see because then they'll still come up on my re recommended list and I'll go back and look, see if there's something special, you know, if there is, fine. If there's not, fine. If I watch at a minimum, they're going to get a thumbs up from me. Okay, number two. Does the make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway you to subscribe? Uh, no. I know I did it a lot more when I first started and I've kind of dropped back at this point to just having it be, you know, part of like the initial startup credits and all the end credits and that kind of thing. I mostly just sign off instead of doing the please subscribe routine. Yeah. There are some people who wear out that please subscribe thing. Just they do it too often, too much. And I decided I didn't like it enough that I don't really say it myself now. It's if people like what they're seeing, they're going to subscribe. Okay, question three. How many channels do you have the notification bell turned on for? Pretty close to 50. No, I don't watch all of them. I don't have time to watch all of them. There is the... Um, the collab group that I work with quite a lot that I will watch theirs regardless. It may be a couple of days after they post that I will watch theirs regardless. Um, but there's some of them that I've been following for a long time that no, I don't watch every one of them. I would never get anything else done and I'm in college and I've got grandkids and I've got dogs and I like to game, and I've got this husband, you know, it's like, it, I've got stuff. Okay, number four, do you watch every video from your subscription feed or only your favorites? I think I just mostly covered that. It's, if it's something that I normally have on my subscription is because I want to see the stuff. If the title doesn't catch me and I've like got a bazillion on the inbox list, then yeah, I might not watch it. But there you go. Number five, how many channels do you never miss an upload for no matter how busy you are? Five. That would be the uh, people that I do the collab with, the ones that we kind of nicknamed the Dirty Half Dozen, since I'm one of the six, you know, that leaves me with five that I try and make sure that I watch and comment at least. So that, you know, I'm keeping up with people that are that are part of a group that are kind of working together to keep, our, keep all of us going. Let's see, next question, number six. What kind of commenter are you? That kind of depends. I try to avoid the great look and that's all it says. I usually go for something a little more in depth because if I've watched it and I like what I'm seeing, I'm going to tell them what I either like or don't like. In some cases, it's what I don't like. 
but I try to be at least reasonable about how I how I put it so that it doesn't sound like I'm just cussing them out. It's like I pretty much avoid cussing when it comes to the channels anyway as much as possible unless I'm really mad. But the 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 just smile or the little hearts or great look and that's all you do yeah that's that's kind of a real rarity unless somebody's doing a snicker fest kind of thing like when tati has done the thing with the ghost kind of thing yeah that one might get a couple of laugh rolls um nah <laughs> i try to do a little better than that number seven do you skip ads or watch i try to watch the ads some of the ads get on my last nerve, especially when there have been some of the political ads that have come up on some of it, because I'm in a age demographic that, for some reason, they think I really want to hear something about the, the, the politics of the day, and I'm going, yeah, thanks, anyway. Um, I'm not real good with watching the political ads, and some of the other ads are just like, Gee, Monetti, I don't come close to caring about all of these tons of supplements for health or whatsoever. And I'm really not interested in paying 40 or 50 bucks for a pair of pants to go do yoga stretches in. It's like I can do yoga stretches in a pair of $10 pants. Um, number eight, do you speed up videos? Not normally. There have been one or two that I've speeded up only because they're like an hour long. And I'm going, I don't got that kind of time. Let's see. Next, number nine. Do you click affiliate links or use affiliate codes? Yes. I do. They give me a monetary break. And if they happen to give the... Um, creator a little bit of you know points or cash in their pocket or whatever i got no problem with that it's it's no skin off my nose it's a it's a help to my wallet and if they get a little bit of extra that's fine too i mean you know name me somebody who cannot use a little bit of extra now and then let's see 10 what what's your preference when it comes to video length um it kind of depends. If it's like a full face and a chatty get ready with me kind of thing, that's going to be at least half an hour. And you already know that as soon as you say, see, get ready with me. Or if you've got somebody who wants to talk about lots of stuff, or they've got their empties to go through, or, you know, a new haul to go through, those can be, you know, half an hour. God help me, if it's a live feed, it could be an hour or more. Um, I prefer something that's half hour or under. Um, I don't always make that with my own films, though. It just, it just kind of depends. I try and shoot for about 20 minutes. And if I come in under 45 on some of my own videos, I'm thrilled. So I don't really hassle too many other people about what their their film length is. It's like, if it's way too long, I'll speed it up. You know, easy enough. Number 11. Do you thumbs up most videos? If I'm watching it, whether I'm really, like, thrilled or not, especially if it's somebody that that's a very small creator, I'm helping to support, I'm hoping other people would do me that courtesy, I give them a thumbs up. I don't see the harm. Let's see, what's next? Number 12, do you ever thumbs down a video? No. If I got nothing good to say, I don't say nothing. I have thumbs down a few ads, but not the videos. It's like most of the people I'm watching and following are small creators. You know, I've got one or two larger creators that I check in on. And, you know, I'm still subscribed to them, but I don't have the notification clicked anymore because it's just that it was too much to try and keep up with. 
but I don't bother with a thumbs down. If you've got nothing nice to say, don't say anything. I mean, you've already engaged with the video if you've watched the whole thing. If they're showing a bunch of people watched the whole thing, but out of those people, they've only got this many thumbs up, usually you can figure it out for yourself whether or not they were thrilled. Let's see, next, next and last. Question 13, do you share other YouTubers' videos on your social media? Occasionally. If they, if their video comes up on my Twitter, I'll retweet them. If, I don't really do a lot with my Facebook. I do mention other people's videos if, you know, it's something that I'm playing off of. It's like, you know, we've got two mentions already for the people that, A, I watched the video on Annette's Makeup Corner, and she got it from the originator, which is Katie Marie, so I do mention that on this kind of video, but I don't really currently put up like a bazillion cards or put up stuff on Instagram. I will put some on Twitter, and that's about it. If I've got friends who have put their, their video up on, on Twitter is like, you know, here's my title and here's the, the, the link for the video, I'll recirculate those. But yeah, I'm kind of lazy, sorry. Anyway, that is the end of the questions. Like I said, I'll put the questions in the description box down below. Anyway, I hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed yourself for a few minutes. And I'm going to say, be good.